sun is shining and the wheels go round. Yeah, the wheels go round. Pine trees sway and the sun keeps climbing and the wheels go round. Yeah, the wheels go round. Don't stop moving, honey, don't slow down. We'll live forever, long as the wheels go round. It's a marvelous night The moon is in heaven The stars have all died But they're shining so bright Wherever you go I'll be with you forever Right by your side Don't give up yet, honey, don't get down. We'll be together long as the wheels go round. Don't stop moving, honey, don't slow down. We'll live forever, long as the wheels go round. Don't give up yet, honey, don't get down. We'll be together, long as the All right, so that was Wheels by Rhett Miller. Uh, and that was actually... He's the lead singer for The Old 97. So if you guys know who that band is. Uh, one Time, One Night, Los Lobos. Um, this is Daily Code Kickoff. Um, yeah, so we're learning more view. Um, that's the plan for today. Should I add it? Yeah. Yeah, more of you. Still no one saying, hey, uh, enough view. So, I'm just gonna keep going, I guess. Yeah. Um, we're working off the docks. So, got them over here. We are on... Let me see if I can show you. Yeah, class and style bindings. So yeah, we got through the essentials, installation. I'm sorry, installation, introduction, the view instance, template syntax, computer properties and washers. Now we're in class and style bindings. This is kind of a short section. Um, at least this part right here. Uh, the binding HTML classes. Um, yeah, we might get to conditional rendering today. We'll see. And just keep going. Uh, 
Yeah, so sorry that I didn't have a session yesterday. Got a little sleep earlier and then ended up sleeping on. And it was too late to start. But anyway, um, we left it on Tuesday. And kind of like a cliffhanger. And so I posted the link in the chat. I'll post the link here uh, for where we are in the chat too. Let me post that real quick. And so let me jump over to JS Fiddle. And so this is where we left it. Um, again, we're doing bindings, uh, class bindings, right? So it's, it's just a little confusing, right? Um, so this is like if you want to add a class, a regular like CSS class, you know, CSS selector class to, you know, anything and then put, yeah, they, in their, in the example they had, actually, what was that? That was, uh, just a div, right? And so, yeah, it, this wasn't working with active. I tried required, that wasn't really working. And so right before today's session, I just kind of, you know, kind of went back to the original example. And, uh, well, first I did like a lookup, you know, what exactly is an active class? And so let me just show you that. Uh, an active pseudo class. And it's, it can be triggered, uh, let's see. Yeah, so an active pseudo class is an event that occurs between the mouse button being clicked and being released. Um, so let me show you what that is over here. So if I uh, pull this out a little bit, and like for example, this button here, like when I click on it. It's actually not showing, let's see here. Yeah, uh, yeah, I guess that's active right there. Hmm. Uh, okay, so here's what I actually did. So I kind of scrapped this, this path that I was working on. And I went to, let me just close that out. onto this version here and I went back to the active like they have in there and at first I tried this you know this is how you would typically use it a like that for like a for like an anchor link and but that wasn't actually working here's what I was trying to show you a minute ago uh, well that's not working either let me run this And yeah, it's just wasn't working. So what ended up happening is if you put it like a regular class, like an active class like that, notice the color is orange. It just, yeah. So is active here, is down here, true. So, yeah, I mean, this might as well be act active orange, you know, activate orange, activate, because it's not, it's not adding that active class. And yeah, so if I save that, it'll be the same. But let me show you if I set it to false down here, because notice... Um, passing in this uh, data property name and so let me just set this to false and then it should just go back to a regular color 
black. Um, this has everything I couldn't figure out. I tried to shoot here. Uh, something that's kind of interesting, like if you deal with this, is that the reason that there's quotes here is because it'll throw an error with that um, dash or hyphen. So if I run that. It says unexpected token hyphen. So if you have something with the hyphen, you'll have to use quotes. Uh, but I'm um, really. I'm just going to take that out. Because I don't want to waste time on that. Um, has there, yeah, I'll just leave that. And so yeah, hopefully this makes sense. This is just like a regular class, like if we had a class here. You know, if this was activate orange. But since we're binding this and we're set we're setting it to like a data property. Yeah, I don't want to dwell on it too much. Uh, dedicated enough time for it, so let's move on. Let me just undo this. Or I guess I'll leave that in the car. Yeah, so if I set this to true. Okay, so let's go back to the docs. Over here. So that was this here. Yeah, this I didn't. Let's see. Class object. Yeah, I just noticed this and I, I didn't quite get it. When is active or has there changes like the data, the class list will be updated accordingly. Yeah, and this is like, yeah, so example uh, or is active would be one that, you know, if you weren't in JS Fiddle, I guess. Um, I don't know. I guess it might work. It might not. Um, it would show up. It would sort of transpire to this in terms of classes on the element. This is what I don't exactly get what it's saying here. Because if you notice, this is different. Um, okay, I, g I guess I get it. So, yeah, the class object. So instead of having this within the actual template here as a quoted string, it's sort of putting that string into a variable, an object there, like right here. And then you're referring to it uh, in your data. Uh, it says it'll render the same result. I don't really know if I really want to try it. I guess I'll, I'll try it. So, let me go back. Oh, 
So I don't really get why. Let's throw in that air. Okay, just need another. Okay. And then this would be, first of all, this would be that. Activate orange. And then here, class object. Replace all of this. And let's just make sure it still works. Yep. Okay. And so moving on. Computed properties too, I guess. We can also bind to a computed property that returns an object. This is common in a powerful pattern. Okay. So instead it's a function here. So let's take a look at this, right? So again, if we want to go with activate orange, I don't know. Oh, well, hang on though, because we don't really have this is active yeah so we don't really have I kind of replaced the is active and the text danger right so okay so first of all I get in it so this is like um, data that should be here like is active like we had it before and let me put this to true. And really, that's all we need. I'm not going to mess with the other one. So, close that out. And then here, it's the computer property. And I think, let's see. You did the number scene. Okay, this is getting a bit ugly in terms of the braces. So here is this one. Okay, let's start innermost. That's right. That one. Then we have the computed one. We need a comma there, I just noticed. And I think we might have one too many. Okay, so let me... Uh, move this over, I guess. Do it, yeah, okay. So it's a little messy, but that's correct. And so what does this mean? So... We're calling the class object computed property. And we're saying if this active is within it, we're saying, so I guess this doesn't matter here. Uh, 
Uh, first of all, let's take out this to simplify it. Okay, we just don't need any of this. Just to simplify it. Um, activate orange. Right, so this this will be true if this is true. And if so, we'll use this class over here. Right? So let's just start with false to see if this actually turns, you know, black or, you know, default. And then go from there. Okay. Yeah, it's just. I, I mean, I understand why you kind of had all that um, conditional logic there to create like a computed property, but it was just over complicated in terms of understanding it. And can get some of that other code to work, like the text danger. So I think I'll just leave it there and move on. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, yeah, so let's do that. So yeah, array syntax. Okay. We can pass an array to vbind class to apply a list of classes. I see. So we might try that with some CSS. And yeah, they're just being kind of a, kind of like how they use class object. They're being a little bit explicit here, like. This is the active class, this is the error class. And then, you know, they're providing it here. Um, yeah, so it's yeah, it's a little contrived, but it makes a point. So I guess I'll use that. But it also says, uh, if you would like to also toggle a class in the list conditionally, you can do it with a ternary expression. Uh, okay. So if is active is true. Yeah. This will always apply error class, but will only apply active class when is active is true. However, this can be a bit verbose if you have multiple conditional classes. That's why it's also possible to use the object syntax inside array syntax uh, okay now I don't quite get that however this can be a bit verbose if you have multiple conditional classes uh-huh so what's the solution is to use the object syntax like this inside an array syntax so I think they're saying if you have more but they're not really showing more or I guess this is the second one yeah okay if you wanted to add a couple more then I guess uh, let's so let's try that so that it's more clear and then we'll move on to yeah, components, okay. That'll be interesting. The classes with components, okay. So, here we go, let's do this one.
Okay, we may have to... I do this. Um, active class, right there, right? It's going to translate to active, right? Okay, let's just try this. Activate orange. And... Actually, let's just try it without that first. See what we get. So, race syntax. Yeah, this text danger. I mean, I guess we have to define it, right? Yeah. It was weird to do, I felt like. I guess that works with, um, like, CSS frameworks, or like, uh, yeah, you know, like Bootstrap. So text danger, let's go with color red. Usually it's what you want. There we go. So let's see which one actually wins. I think it's the one furthest down. That, like the last rule. Yeah. I mean, I guess that's clear. Well, it wasn't so clear. So the ternary expression was relatively clear. Um, 
but it was that other one, right? With the object syntax. So we got red there. So if his active is true, so that should be false because we haven't defined it. Um, it would display active class if it were true. Okay, actually, yeah, okay, so I didn't look at this closely. Um, I think error class is still winning out regardless, right? Because uh, if we make this, like, let's try to just make this true before we even define it. It'll still be red because of what we saw a second ago before we modified it, right, with the array syntax. And so, let me just remove this, and it would be orange, right? Yeah, because I guess that is true. Let me make this false. Okay, when it's false, it kind of, you know, no class. And so let me make this, should I make it false? With this. No, I think hopefully that's clear enough. Yeah, I think that's good enough. So let's try the object syntax. Yeah, it's, it's just so, it's still not clear to me like how this is a different way of writing a conditional class. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, let's just try to add multiple classes within there though. So, right here, right? Exactly, and then like we can add um, active, so this would be Um, is active. Maybe um, just add a different class like um, uh, so if, we, if we're keeping like maybe background class or something. Put that to is active as well. And first of all, we'll have to add that is active. 
Classroom. And then this background class. And now into something. something so let's see if this works so yeah the active class which is right there in the background class if this is true so and let me just actually take this out for now because otherwise the syntax would just be red um, actually, I'll just leave it for one second. Let me just run it. Yeah, so that is as expected. Um, then if I just remove it, it should be orange and green. Uh, yeah, so that didn't work out. Is active. Yeah, is active is true, right? Hmm, so let me just re reverse these. Right, so like this. So is this going to be just orange? Okay, so do I have like a syntax error? Copy to activate orange. Every class. So I guess this doesn't. quite work, but actually background class is working regardless, right? So could it be because of this order here? So like if I move this up, you know, is it only applying one class? No, that's not the reason. Yeah, okay, so there's another one I don't get. Um, let me just put true here. put error class here. Maybe there's something wrong with this. Yeah, I guess it just seems like you can just only add one here. Or uh, let me just try like is active true. Maybe you can't reuse um, whatever this is. Oh, it's a data, right? So maybe you can't reuse a data property. Man, I think you can. Right, let's just try that. Yeah, I guess it's just only. It's only using one. 
key within the object syntax. So yeah, I didn't really get the point of it. Um, yeah, so let's just move on. Uh, okay, so with components, what's that all about? So let's go for about 10 more minutes here. This section assumes knowledge of your components. We did that, uh, like last week we were doing that. Well, I mean, actually, you know, this is... Have we done this? Components basics. Uh... Yeah, sorry, I was thinking instance. So, um, we may skip it, but let's just try it out for a second. Um, when you use the class attribute on a custom component, those classes will be added to the component's root element. Existing classes on this element will not be overwritten. For example, if you declare this component and add some classes when using it. Mm -hmm. The rendered HTML will be... Okay, all of these classes. So it's just going to use them all. The same is true for class bindings. When is active is truthy, the rendered HTML will be foobar active. So, because foobar is part of the original classes in this in its template, the components template. Yeah, and by the way, the component is right there. Um, I guess I will skip it, sort of. I don't know, I'm kind of having second thoughts. I kind of want to code it. Let's just code it real quick. So I would think that, yeah, I don't know if this will actually work. Let's just try it. Gotta change this heat to bar. Let's just go with. Should we use some of these?
So I wonder. Yeah, okay. So this goes in the HTML. If you can see it over here on the right, I can't really highlight it. Over here on the right, it says HTML. So let me copy this. And I'll put it up here. And I'll add, what other classes could I add? So I'll add like just text danger. And is that good enough? Let's just run it. So it's just going to be a paragraph uh, element with uh, essentially all three classes. And it's going to say, yeah, I got it. It has to say something, right? So this is my component. Yeah, that's good enough. So let's run that. And there it is. So, yeah, so I should change one of these, right? So let's change activate orange to uh, yeah, because these are conflicting a lot. Um, uh, what's another thing I could do? Instead of color. Gosh, my CSS is showing me. Let's look it up. Let's just use something from here. Um, so this is just... Let's just add like some margin or something. Um, yeah, let's do that. Activate margin. Oh, let's do border. That'll be a little more clear. And yeah, but except I forget. Um, so um, you can specify the type and then the pixel amount, right? Let's go with 10. Let's see if that yields anything without having to put the specific type. So activate border. Uh, let's put that one here. And then so it won't conflict with this one. So let's try that. So it's my gonna activate border. Border around the text, I guess. Uh, yeah, it would still work if I So maybe I'm just not Let me double check how you specify the values for a border um, property of it in CSS. So.
Okay. So let me just copy this. Because it's a um, like if this was oh, the, well, there's something else I'm doing right in my component. I'm writing that, then within the actual template, it says hi, which um. So we're not seeing the actual high, right? Um, so, and plus I just realized we're not seeing the background class here either. So this is the only thing that's being rendered. Um, and it, yeah, I can't really check. Or can I? Let me check this. The classes on that component. Alright, let's just close that. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, we may have to skip this, as kind of hinted at, because, yeah, because we're not even seeing any of this. Let me take out this my component because maybe that kind of caused some conflict there let's see if we see high and now it's just not showing anything um, yeah I don't know I hate to leave it like that, but I, I, yeah, kind of, kind of have to wrap it up there. Um, let me just jump back at the docs real quick, but yeah, otherwise we'll have to wrap it up there and just kind of maybe leave it for you guys to figure out. Uh, let me just look at the components basics real quick, like the template. Yeah, I mean, it seems like it works there, right? It's a button. Um, dude. But see, actually here... Button counter. Yeah. Um, let me go back here. The rendered HTML will be this. So it's saying that that's going to be rendered, but it's not rendering that. Uh, did I do that wrong? So I left it like this, right? jump back for one second and we'll check that I don't think I changed anything but the classes and then I added 
you know, my component right there. But other than that, uh, like that's the same essentially. Right? Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't know. I'll I'll post I'll save it and um and post it in the chat and you guys can try to figure it out yourselves. So yeah, I wanna thank everyone for joining, everyone for watching. Uh hope you had a good time. I'll see you guys next Monday at the same time. Uh yeah, see you then.
the sunrise with my side captains Do I choose to lose my mind? And if it's all only past this way but once What a perfect waste of time Another the sunrise with my side captain to lose my mind And if it's all gone past this way but once what a perfect waste of What a perfect waste of time